Meanwhile, US President Joe Biden has welcomed Anthony Albanese at his old school in Delaware. The Quad Summit is now underway, involving President Biden, our PM, and the leaders of India and Japan. Let's head to Sky News Chief Anchor Kieran Gilbert, who is in Delaware. Kieran, now you have just spoken and asked a question to Joe Biden. What did he say? Yeah, I did. There was a what's known as the family photo, Tim, and, and you'll see behind us, this is Archmere Academy. This is the school Joe Biden went to as, as a young man. Three of his children came here as well, and, and the, the four leaders gathered on the steps, Joe Biden hosting Prime Minister Albanese, Prime Minister Kishida of Japan, and Prime Minister Modi of India. And as they were standing there, they were about to wrap up, and I, I yelled out to Mr Biden, will the quad survive beyond November and he said uh, he asked me to clarify will what survive and I, I said the quad this will it survive and he said it will survive way beyond November way beyond is what he said and, and the point here Tim the reason why I asked that question is with Donald Trump going to win according to many certainly it's a neck and neck race right now it's a toss of the coin he could win what position will he take when it comes to the quad he hasn't always been sold on uh, traditional alliances. You'll remember, Tim, and our viewers will remember that Donald Trump threatened to pull out of NATO at one point as well, unless the Europeans stumped up more. So I thought it was a pertinent question to put to uh, President Biden as he is trying to ensure the quad and his foreign policy approach lasts uh, beyond his presidency, basically to future-proof their foreign policy, Tim. Also, it would have to be significant for his legacy, wouldn't it, Kieran? Because we know that there is a finish line now to his presidency. Indeed. And in his opening remarks to the, the Quad Summit, he said that the, the, the world is changing, but the Quad will remain the same. And so he, he reiterated his confidence about this as a grouping lasting beyond his presidency and being part of his legacy because you will remember um, this was set up back the quad back in 2004 actually in the wake of that tsunami but it really didn't become a leaders level summit until joe biden became president and elevated this quad to a leaders level talk so it's it's taken on a whole different level of of meaning prime minister albanese also in his remarks said um gave his great endorsement and, uh, and support for this group. He says the power of four is greater than the power of each of us acting individually. And, and so making that point once again that four democracies working together can have a, a positive impact on the way our region operates to ensure the stability and prosperity of the Indo-Pacific team.